What's going on, guys? Sharks fans. Uh, Coast here talking about, of course, the Sharks' victory over the Canucks. This one feels good. Uh, game one. Uh, I liked what I saw this game. I don't think I've been more satisfied with the Sharks' win, not because of the opponent or because it was in Vancouver, but because this was dominant. I really thought the Sharks were clearly the better team this one, and there's no debating it. Uh, first period, really good hockey. I thought the first power play was good. second one was like, meh, but they started off really well on the uh, power play, and they just couldn't put it in the net. And Credit goes to where credit's uh, due to Roberto Luongo, who starting in for an injured Snyder. Or, sorry, Snyder. Uh, second period, uh, just that first goal was a fluke. Uh, it was definitely a fluke for the Canucks. They, there should have been a whistle. I thought Mason Raymond hit him, hit uh, Miami, but they didn't call goaltender interference, or they didn't wave it off. They chose to count that, and what can you do? Uh, that's just how it goes. Uh, and it, it goes in, one nothing. Sharks answer back, though. They get a penalty, and they actually take advantage of it with a good power play goal. Uh, it was like the first possession, I believe, in Logan Couture snipes Luongo with them. And that's, that's what we pay Logan Couture to do. He's got to make those types of plays for sniping. we got skilled players who can do that, and uh, good. A really good effort out there. Going in, tied, feeling all right, good. We got a little bit of momentum on our side. And the third, I thought we tore it off pretty well. Uh, there was a lot of good passing. I know the shots were not in good in number, but I thought it was good and fluid. Uh, we got a more scruffy or scrappy goal of our own with a little bit of uh, bodies in front, and Dan Boyle picks up a loose puck. Good, You know, it does take some skill to shoot those in just so it goes over and he doesn't try to shove it through the pads, uh, shoot it through the right. Open net, just enough, and the Sharks go up. And then a little bit later, a beautiful centering pass by Logan Couture. I really liked what I saw there. He can not just shoot, but Couture can pass as well. And uh, how can I forget Antti Niemi, the biggest guy who gets credit for this game? Uh, Niemi should have had a shutout. This this could have been 5 nothing if it weren't for the first period by Luongo and the, that uh, goal that should, could have been waved off. But Niemi played very well. I thought he stood firm, and he made some big saves. There were... Two or three saves that really he made, I thought, that defined, okay, we're, we're in the game. Second period, Canucks were shooting a little bit better. But there weren't really many great chances. I thought uh, Niemi made the big saves, or, or the few saves that mattered. And in the third, there were a couple as well that were big. Uh, I thought they, they were important. And how about that penalty killing? Uh, penalty killing much better from two years ago, and especially last year, which was one of the most dismal. So, hey, great job by the Sharks. Uh, this this has to be the most dominant Sharks win since Game 4 against the Kings in 2011. Haven't seen a good good Sharks playoff win in a while. All of them have been one goal wins or stressful wins. But this one, this one, the Sharks looked dominant, and they were clearly the better team uh, in this one. There, there shouldn't be any debating that. So. Good way going around in Game 1, one game, but hey, it's always good to get a win to start off the playoff. Uh, have not won a game in the month of May since... Uh, 2011, because of obviously going one and done last year. So, good way to start. I thought the bottom six looked good, and defensively we looked really good too. From what I what I felt, I saw. If there's anything else that I missed, let me know. But good way to start the playoffs. See you guys later.